love animals. That's why I work here. Because a museum of natural history is a place that we go to learn about animals, about nature. Hands down now. So the Delaware Museum of Natural History is very special. We're a special museum. We work hard at the state of Delaware. You guys live in the state of Delaware, right? You guys live in Delaware at the state. Thank you. If you live in the state of Delaware, you know that Delaware is a pretty small state, right? It's the second smallest state in the entire United States. But our little museum, this little tiny museum, has one of the largest collections of bird eggs in the entire world. This is just a tiny portion of our collection. We need to look here. Have you ever seen this many eggs in one place? No. That's, well, you have. Have you been here before? I knew it. I knew it. When she said she'd seen this many eggs in one place at the same time before, I knew she'd been here. How many of you have been here before? Raise your hands. Okay, good number of you. Well, this is just a tiny portion of our egg collection. Most of our collection is on our third floor. Excuse me, I'm recovering from a cold, so I don't have much of a voice. The third floor, which is way up above us here, and we have over 30,000 egg clutches. 30,000. That's a lot of egg clutches. And guess what? Each clutch of eggs has at least three to six eggs in them. So even if only every egg clutch had three, that would be 90,000 eggs. 90,000 eggs in the museum. We have the second largest collection of eggs in the entire United States and the third largest collection of eggs in the entire world. So there are only two other places in the whole wide world that have more eggs than we do. Isn't that neat? In tiny little Delaware. Now, we have eggs from all different kinds of birds. We have eggs that are speckled. We have eggs that are green. We have eggs that are brown. We have eggs that are white. We have eggs of all different colors and all different shapes. We have one of the largest eggs of any bird to ever exist. Look over here. Do you see that really big egg? Yeah. That really big egg is from a bird called the elephant bird. And the elephant bird is pictured behind you here. Now, the elephant bird is extinct. Who can tell me what that word means? What does that word mean? What does extinct mean? You don't know? I don't, you I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, is it Anya? I'm trying to see what it is. Anya. No longer. No longer living. No longer living. There are no more elephant birds alive. They aren't extinct. There aren't any more. And there are very few elephant bird eggs in the world. This egg is from an elephant bird. The elephant bird's been extinct for over 400 years. This egg is never going to hatch. The animal is never going to come out of it. We know what the elephant bird looks like because it didn't go extinct until about 400 years ago. So people were around. People saw the elephant bird, they sketched the elephant bird, they drew it. In fact, it's native to the island of Madagascar. Have any of you ever seen the movie Madagascar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Move it, right? Yeah, it's one movie. <laughs> well, Madagascar is a really fun and interesting place off the coast of Africa. And that island has really strange and unusual and big animals. And the elephant bird was one of those animals until explorers came to the island and pushed it out. And the elephant bird did go extinct. Now, the largest egg of any living bird is from the ostrich that you see here. This egg is, you can stay where you are, this is the ostrich egg. When we walk this way, you can look at it as we walk by if you can't see it right now. The ostrich egg is approximately the size of 24 chicken eggs. Can you imagine the size of an omelet made from one ostrich egg? Yeah. That could feed like, several families with one egg. One ostrich egg can feed several families, and people do eat ostrich eggs. Now, this is a male ostrich. His coloring is very distinctive. He can have black feathers and a white tail. And he uses those colors to attract a mate, to find a female, so that they can lay eggs and have babies together. The female, on the other hand, is camouflaged. Does anyone know what that word means? What does it mean? It means to blend into something. It means to blend in. Excellent. And she is pictured in the picture way up there. Once again, when we walk by, you can look at it. 
and she's going to have sort of tan and brown feathers on her body so that when she's sitting on the eggs, incubating the eggs, she's protecting them from predators. Now the ostrich is the fastest land bird. You're not going to eat until lunch and we've got a whole big tour first. Got a while. Got a while before lunch. The fastest land bird, it can run about 45 miles an hour. Yes. 